Hello friends, I am continuing the session of learning OCS inventory. Uh, so in last video we have learned how to configure OCS inventory server and uh, we try to connect Windows machine now in this session We are trying to connect Linux machine with the OCS inventory server. So as uh, I already told you this is my uh, OCS server uh, which is I which is I connected through putty and this is my uh, Linux client machine Its name is mail client. So I'm trying to connect this mail client machine to the OCS server so let's refer the steps so here are the steps first we need to install pull uh, packages and it's all dependencies let's install it on client machine After that, more dependency related to the same. So here it is saying uh, already installed. So all packages are already installed on my machine. Now we need to download the RPM GPG key for Fedora. I'm using uh, CentOS but installing for Fedora. Install that DPG key. Uh, the key is already imported. Now let's remove it. Removing it from my machine. Now downloading the EPL repository. installed it's downloaded now we need to install it so it is already installed now we need to uh, download again OCS so this this steps is already done and uh, uh, this is 6.8 now I'm updating the latest version and also installing rpm dot OCS ng this is the client uh this is the repository to install ocs inventory client so i'm downloading both with the same with a, in single command okay it's, it's downloading after that we need to install ocs a, a release latest this is the in, uh, this is the uh, repo file and the epl release repo file After installing, so this is this is already installed on my machine, and now I need to install OCS agent. I will paste all these steps in my video so the, so that you can refer all the steps. So in my machine, OCS agent is already installed. Now we need to go inside this directory, cd etc. OCS inventory file LL you do LL you need to go this is the main configuration file for this agent so here uh, this is the certificate file this is base directory file and I commented this line right so I commented local and uh, base dir this is the uh, main file for the agent ocs agent and this is the actual path of your inventory server so if you go in web so this path you need to paste here and in and uh, in place of ocs report you need to define ocs inventory http 192.168 230.254 OCS inventory okay and this is the tag 
by which you want to identify this machine on OCS inventory server and this is a log file path of the log file so this you need to define in this file going out okay now you need to run this agent once you run this agent this agent will try to send its inventory to the uh, inventory server Simultaneously, you can check the log file also if it is sending the detail to OCS server or not. Just go into the log file and paste. So, here it is saying uh, the information is already sent. Let me try to run once again. Once you run this agent command, the inventory will start uh, generating here uh, this log file. And these all are the daemon which are running behind uh, this agent. So now you go and check whether this machine is got connected or not. So now here you can see one Unix machine is got connected. If you click on the link here, you will see the detail. So this is the IMEID this is the computer name okay this is domain name and this is the OS release version if you go all computers and if you click here you can see this is the tag which I've given in that file if you click on this link you will get all the information related to that file same way software list which is installed on this server uh, this client these are the network ports available these are the devices connected to that machine configuration deployment if you want to deploy any package so this all information now you can check on your uh, inventory server so this is how we connected Linux uh, client machine to the OCS server so thank you for watching this video bye bye